guys! It's me, Blushy, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, what we're going to do is apply what we learned in our lessons last time. So our lessons last time was all about discriminants, roots, and their coefficients. So ngayon, i-level up naman natin ang pag-aaral nyo by answering some activities and questions related to it. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung lesson natin last time, lalagyan ko ng link sa itaas. Tara, simulan na natin. Find k is 2x squared plus 4x plus k equals 0 has equal roots. 2x squared plus 4x plus k equal to 0. Let's remember the formula for the discriminant which is b squared minus 4ac equals 0, where a is 2, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to k. Now let's substitute. 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times k is equal to 0. 16 minus 8k is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 8. So 2 is equal to k. Therefore k is equal to 2 so that the equation will have equal roots. Now let's go on to our next activity. The roots of the equation 5x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals 0 are r and s such that r is greater than s. Find the value of each equation. 1, r plus s, 2, r times s, and 3, r plus s squared. Let's write the equation. So let's recall the quadratic formula, which is b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, where a is equal to 5, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 1. Let's substitute. 6 plus and minus square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 5 times 1 divided by 2 times 5. 6 plus and minus square root of 36 minus 20 all over 10. This will now become 6 plus and minus square root of 16 all over 10. And let's simplify. It will now become 6 plus and minus 4 all over 10. So we have for our first root 6 plus 4 over 10 or 10 over 10 which is equal to 1. For root number 2, 6 minus 4 over 10 which is 2 over 10 which is equal to 1 over 5. Let's find the value of each expression. So we have root number 1, which is r, is equal to 1. And root number 2, which is s, is equal to 1 fifth. Remember that our rule is r is greater than s. So we have r plus s is equal to 1 plus 1 fifth, which is equal to 6 over 5. Next one, r times s is equal to 1 times 1 over 5, which is equal to 1 fifth. And lastly, we have r plus s squared, which is equal to 1 plus 1 over 5 squared, which is also equal to 6 over 5 squared. For our final answer, we have 36 over 25. So, dyan na nagtatapos ang ating lesson para sa araw na ito. So, if you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment down below. 
Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button beside it so you can always be notified whenever I post something new. So that is all for today and I hope that you learned something new. I'll see you again in our next lesson. Thank you and goodbye!